Uh, hello, my name is uh, Simon Konenka from Team Ukraine, and today I'm going to report problem number uh, two for POP AVA. The statement of problem asks us to investigate the uh, principle of work of uh, toy called uh, POP POP bot. Uh, to build it, we just need uh, to make the boiler, which takes heat from uh, candle. Also, we need to propose uh, both the design uh, that maximizes the uh, travel distance and uh, estimate energy uh, convection efficiency of uh, our bot. Uh, so, uh, here we can observe that uh, bot uh, uh, really works and we can observe uh, some, some uh, oscillations of water which corresponds to oscillations uh, of pressure inside the uh, boiler. Now, uh, let's move to structure of the report. Uh, in the first part, we consider in, uh, we consider in principle of uh, bot's engine uh, Work, we give qualitative explanation of it, uh, write down equation, and verify it by experiment. In the next part, we uh, will find uh, heat from candle uh, and also write down motion law for uh, both and make uh, experimentally verify it. In the last part, we consider uh, parameters, make optimization, and uh, some estimation for our bot. Uh, so, uh, here we can observe uh, both. Um, the candle uh, hits, uh, hits the boiler and uh, water starts to evaporate. This evaporation increases uh, pressure, which uh, push water out of uh, boiler. And due to inertia, uh, water, uh, water passes through the point of equilibrium. Uh, and now in boiler, we have uh, lower pressure uh, and water starts to return inside it and, uh, and boil again. Uh, so, and this process uh, continues periodically. Uh, so, to describe this process, we consider in two stages. Uh, first stage is uh, when, uh, water, when, when we have water inside the uh, boiler, uh, to vapor inside the boiler, we write down uh, ideal gas equation, and uh, also we consider a uh, change of it, uh, taking into account condensation, variation, and uh, also increasing of uh, amount by uh, boiling. Uh, also, we consider change of amount of water inside uh, Water of uh, sorry volume of water inside the uh, boiler. Uh, here we um, have a term which corresponds to uh, volume lost by uh, motion of water inside tubes, and also condensation and uh, evaporation. So and also we uh, write down Bernoulli's equation where we take into account inertia uh, of uh, water and also viscosity. Mm. Uh, in second stage. Uh, we consider a situation where water is uh, only inside the tube. So here we again have ideal uh, gas equation. Uh, um, however, now we consider in uh, condensation on uh, walls of uh, tube, and we have new variative uh, which corresponds to uh, length of uh, tube uh, fueled by uh, water. And we also write down Bernoulli's equation uh, for uh, this uh, situation. Uh, and now we solve this uh, system numerically using program MATLAB and obtain this result. And here we can uh, observe that, uh, that uh, uh, volume of water uh, decreases uh, into optimal value and after that starts to oscillate uh, on it. Uh, for this, uh, to verify it, uh, we build setup where we fix uh, our boiler with special nozzle which uh, include the pressure sensor and uh, thermocouple. Mm. So, uh, and we take data from it uh, using microcontroller Arduino. Uh, so for uh, parameters of uh, setup, uh, we uh, make theoretical, uh, theoretical result and uh, comparing it with experimental data, we can observe uh, good uh, correlation. So now let's move to uh, heat from uh, candle. So uh, to, to calculate it, we uh, experimentally investigate uh, heat flux from a uh, candle uh, using a uh, uh, heat flux uh, sensor. Uh, so for uh, vertical coordinate, uh, here we can see uh, it's coordinated. we obtain uh, this result. And also we measured it uh, independence of horizontal coordinates uh, error. And after, uh, and when we calculate uh, heat flux for each uh, point, we uh, Calculate integral uh, uh, for uh, this for this value uh, for surface of our uh, boiler. So now we can move to motion uh, law of uh, for our board. 
so uh, motion board is reactive, so we can use uh, Mishersky equation where we take into account mass of uh, board and uh, mass of water, which uh, changes. Uh, and also we have uh, momentum of uh, water and uh, drag force. Uh, so uh, for our parameters, we we find uh, velocity, and uh, here we can observe that uh, velocity saturates to some value. To verify it, we verify it. We made uh, we made uh, experimental board uh, with uh, these parameters, and uh, we gain. Uh, Analyzing by program trick, and we we obtain uh, this uh, result for velocity, which uh, good good correlates with our theory. Now let's move to optimization. <laughs> so, uh, important parameter of uh, board is uh, heat, which uh, boiler gain uh, from candle. It depends from uh, distance from flame and also boiler area. Uh, other important parameter is uh, mass of board. And uh, maybe one of the most important parameters is the uh, direct coefficient of our uh, board. So first of all, we uh, change the uh, distance between uh, candle and uh, board and, uh, and change the uh, power which, uh, our, uh, which our boiler, boiler gain. And here we can observe that uh, with increasing of, uh, increase of uh, heat, we uh, uh, velocity, maximum velocity also increases. After that, we change uh, different, uh, we change masses of uh, our board by putting uh, additional uh, loads. And uh, it's obvious that uh, with the increasing of uh, mass, velocity of boards will uh, decrease. Uh, after that, we try to optimize the uh, area of, uh, of surface of boiler's bottom. Uh, and uh, we made uh, several Zero boilers with uh, the same with the same volume, and uh, here we can observe that optimal uh, value is uh, is nearly uh, 18, uh, 18 centimeters squared. Uh, so, and uh, for our boiler which we used before, uh, it is close enough to this, so we decide to use it. Uh, after that, we uh, we try to we try to change uh, drag coefficient because uh, that's uh, is uh, one of the most important parameter for uh, every board. And uh, considering different uh, different variants of uh, board holes, we choose the cat, we choose the cat, and uh, achieve uh, increasing of uh, resulting velocity on seventy eight percent. So here we can observe uh, how this board swims. Uh, and uh, now to uh, estimate uh, which maximum uh, velocity, which maximum this distance can board uh, travel, we consider in time of uh, candles uh, burning and also velocity of uh, board. And uh, after made, uh, we made the estimation, and uh, our board possible can uh, can travel to distance uh, nearly nearly 900 uh, meters. Uh, so now let's uh, talk about uh, energy efficiency. So we calculate uh, the full power of uh, board uh, and uh, also, uh, so, sorry, full power of candle, uh, of candle and uh, power of board and efficiency uh, and obtain efficiency. It is uh, really low, but really low, but that corresponds to okay, but uh, that corresponds to uh, the higher part of energy goes just to oscillate uh, water inside uh, tubes. Uh, so uh, in our report, we, we consider it uh, board's engine and give qualitative explanation of uh, its work where we write down the question and verify it experimentally and obtain a good correlation. Next part, we measure it uh, experimentally heat uh, from candle and uh, write down the motion equations of uh, board, which uh, can exactly describe its uh, motion uh, and verify it experimentally. And then last part, we uh, consider different parameter, uh, vary it, uh, and uh, choose the board which uh, reach uh, maximum velocity and made estimations for uh, traveling, maximum traveling distance and uh, energy uh, conversion efficiency. So thank you for your time.
Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Felipe Mazzi from the Brazilian team, and I'll be uh, opposing problem number two, pop up away. So first, I want to thank the Ukrainian team for the presentation. Uh, it's very nice and very, uh, interesting to watch. Uh, there's, I'd just like to begin by highlighting the requirements of the problem statement. We wanted to uh, propose a boat design to maximize travel distance using a sea light candle and estimate the energy conversion efficiency of your boat. So, uh, so let's begin by looking at some positive points. We find that the team provided a very good qualitative description, uh, especially in terms of uh, illustrations. So it was very clear that the basic physical mechanism, we were convinced that they understood it. Uh, the the simu experimental simulation, sorry, this was a typo. It should be uh, two separate topics, but the, the simulations were, were, were well chosen to, to verify, for instance, the, the oscillations in pressure. It was a very uh, creative uh, method. They seek, they sought to find the best boat, which is a good, in good agreement with what the problem required. And they find, they found a reasonable estimate for the energy efficiency. The points which we would like to uh, discuss a little bit more would be first that we found that the method for variation of the parameters was a bit unclear. So they showed us three consecutive graphs in which they discussed the surface area of the boiler, the load, the, the presence of a load, and the heat from the candle. But it wasn't clear what parameters were being, uh, how they were able to calculate for the final velocity based solely on one of these parameters. So what other parameters were, were being held fixed? So we, and we also missed maybe, and it, maybe this can be clarified later. But what, how exactly the, the equations can go from simply one data input, so such as the heat from the candle, up to a prediction of uh, of the novel, of the final velocity? So this connection was a bit unclear, as well as the variation between the three uh, quantities that they were interested in. Secondly, we don't agree with their choice to focus on these three parameters. So instead of the, the surface L area of the boiler is obviously important, as well as the volume itself, it's, it's important to say, but also the, the size of the nozzles for which the, the water leaves and, and in which the, vapor, the water vapor circulates, the length of the exhaust pipe, since given the fact that the the actual oscill the oscillation happens a lot. Uh, an important part of the oscillation occurs inside the pipe as the, the vapor is pressing against the water that's trying to the cold water that's coming in. And also the number of pipes, the possibility of, of, of trying to make one pipe more favorable for water output and inputs. So there, these are very important parameters which should be able to, it should change the, 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 the final velocity in important ways which weren't addressed at all. So maybe we can discuss that in the fights. Uh, but also, the and most importantly, one of the key requirements of the problem was to uh, estimate the energy efficiency, and we were missing some uh, uncertainty in their estimation. So that's a bit worrisome, especially given that's a very low, it's a very small value, and perhaps uh, depending on the method, it could be hard to quantify with good precision. Uh, so to discuss, we'd like to begin by clarifying what the method was to calculate the, the, the final velocity based on just a few uh, specific parameters. Second, and perhaps most importantly, why, they why did the, the, the reporter choose to focus on the, the, the parameters for which they optimized, and why did they ignore things such as the size of nozzles and the length and number of exhaust pipes? Of course, there also, there's also some room to discuss the other ways to optimize, such as the geometrical shape of the front of the boat and uh, the volume of the boiler. So uh, I, I think I'm, that's, that's it. I'm ready to, like to invite my, the reporter for the discussion. I'd like to begin just by clarifying your, your, your measurement of efficiency. Why did you have an uncertainty for this measurement and how did you measure it in the end of the day? For this estimate, sorry. It's one of your last slides. Here, accuracy of uh, our estimation. So here, accuracy of our estimations uh, was uh, uh, nearly one over, over uh, 10. Uh, so um, we opted. So we obtained this uh, really low efficiency uh, due to uh, oscillations uh, of, uh, of pressure and water inside the tube. Because uh, how we can observe uh, here, uh, we lost many energy uh, just, to, just for these oscillations and, uh, and really resulting uh, velocity is uh, low in... So, so okay. uh, so increase in velocity is uh, uh, low uh, in comparison with uh, oscillations of uh, water. 
But at the end of the day, you're trying to compare the total energy available from the candle with the kinetic energy acquired by the bolt, right? Uh, Is that your definition of efficiency? Uh, so, uh, uh, no, we just, uh, uh, we take a uh, force which, uh, force which act, acting on uh, board and uh, multiply it by uh, our uh, velocity and obtain uh, this uh, result. Okay, so and no, no uncertainty, right? You can, can you give me an estimate? For, for, did you think the, thing, the precision Maybe, of your measurement of efficiency? Because uh, this is the this key to the problem statement, right? Uh, however, if we understand the uh, Estimate. Okay, so let's go. Let's go on. There, there's room for there's more important questions. We can obtain uh, the same order of efficiency. Okay, so, so can we talk a little bit about why did you choose to vary uh, the presence of a load of mass inside of the bolt and the surface area of the boiler? Why, why, what do you think is the importance of studying, for instance, the size of the exhaust pipe for which, for, for which, in which okay. the vapor circulates? Uh, our, our theory can uh, predict uh, this because uh, we can. Uh, so we can uh, take to it to account uh, for uh, so uh, the nozzles of uh, tube, uh, the tubes uh, make inference to parameter uh, the the surface inside inside tube. Uh, however, if we uh, made a larger number of tubes, uh, that's also will affect in uh, for uh, our uh, viscosity uh, viscosity term. Uh, and uh, okay, uh, and uh, sorry, I want to say something. I just want to make sure at any point where you're able to check if the if your your choice for the size of the exhaust pipe is the best one. Uh, I mean, because it seems to me that it, it's very important for, because the water cools as it enters through the, the it goes through the pipe and comes into contact with cold water, right? The vape. So this this should be a important parameter. Do you agree? Do you agree with this? And does is there any way you could have checked if this uh, if your choice is is the best one? Well, of course, uh, only in part of uh, tube which is uh, underwater, and uh, also we uh, consider situation where uh, hot water which goes out of uh, tubes uh, just uh, moves uh, moves over and. Uh, in next part, uh, cold water uh, from reserve from reservoir uh, moves uh, into boiler. Okay, so there's no way you there's no way you, you the only verifications you the only actual model two experiment comparisons you made were concerning the heat from the candle, the surface area of the boiler, and the presence of a, a load of mass. Right, the, the other parameters you you simply yeah, we, we used your, your first intuition. Uh, we tried to very. Um, volume of uh, boiler uh, by putting uh, objects inside. However, we obtain uh, just uh, just worse results. So uh, we so we so we uh, use our uh, boiler which we made and uh, continue our, our experiments with it because uh, it was uh, much more uh, okay more effective uh, of uh, well, that we can build. Well, an important point I was a little bit concerned about where, how do you get from something like the surface area of the boiler alone to a full prediction of what the, the vinyl velocity should be? I mean, how do your equations do that, uh, close this path? Can you uh, show uh, it in the slides? Yeah, we're considering a uh, heat flux from a uh, candle, and uh, this is uh, area of uh, boiler. So, so uh, bottom of boiler has uh, it. Uh, as an area, and uh, we uh, made uh, estimations. Sorry. Okay. Now teams can join to the discussion. Uh, that's so, and we uh, and we uh, obtain this uh, estimations, and uh, we uh, integrate uh, our heat flux from uh, surface of uh, boiler to to obtain uh, power which uh, boiler gains from candle. And if I understood it correctly, you you dis, you discovered that it's best to have. Did you find an ideal a distance between the two, or yes, we it, find it seems to be monotonic? Uh, uh, we find we find uh, we found an uh, ideal uh, distance. It was uh, nearly uh, it was nearly twenty uh, millimeters uh, under. Because I was concerned that in most of your graph, there's no local minimum or local maximum, right? Or you could say that that's the optimal. Uh, parameter. It's, uh, is it, 
this is true for this case, right? So ideally, maybe if you could come even closer, it would be better. Uh, and sorry, uh, may, may answer. Uh, the problem is that uh, as we get closer, it is well-known effect that uh, uh, just above the flame, uh, the heat flux is the maximum. Uh, however, as we try to push the, the lower border uh, inside the flame, uh, then the heat flux will be lower. And uh, due to this effect, uh, we, we, we have chosen the, the 20 millimeters because of the uh, highest heat flux. Uh, our uh, sensor couldn't uh, be placed inside the flame. Uh, so we, uh, like, so, 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 so this optimal value we used uh, in our experiments uh, because of, we know that inside the flame there is there's another kind of uh, distribution of flame and thus the heat flux may be in some way changed and so on. Mm -hmm. okay. It was you know, because of this. Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. Just like, uh, this board where we uh, put uh, put candle uh, to lower distance, and uh, that's just lead to production of. Uh, like okay. One of my team members wants to ask a question. I think uh, so yeah. production with uh, some products of uh, burning uh, stays uh, on the boiler, and uh, that's also take. Uh, take heat from uh, candle starts to burn and uh, decrease the amount of uh, oxygen around candle, which uh, lead to decreasing of uh, heat, which candle can provide. Uh, may I, I ask a question? Mm. Yeah, okay. you talked about uh, the op optimization of the area, the surface area of your boat. Mm, uh, yes, yeah. Uh, did you consider to make to optimize the area of the boat uh, inside the water? Like, if you change uh, the geometry of your boat, or you did with to to how say that uh, to floating. Pattern, but if you do only using one, did you did you consider that? So yes, we consider it uh, different uh, geometries. However, this with yeah. uh, loops and uh, boiler underwater is uh, best result. So we decide to continue our experiments with uh, this uh, geometry. Okay. okay. Uh, but it, it, here, the right here, this graph. So it, this is another case in which you have no local maximum or local minimum, right? You just find a monotonic increase. And I think that's the case for most parameters except uh, for the surface area of the boiler. Is that correct? Uh, so for uh, surface uh, area of uh, boiler, we can see that if uh, it is uh, too high, uh, power of candle just uh, is not enough to uh, to heat uh, water and uh, both will not, uh, so, will not uh, and is this the only case where you got a, an actual maximum of efficiency, right? Because the, the other ones you have just a monotonic either increase or decrease. So this is the parameter you were actually able to verify experimentally as an optimization. Yeah, we uh, we make uh, different uh, boilers with uh, the same uh, the same volume and uh, different uh, surfaces and obtain this result. Okay. Uh, and one last question, is there, uh, uh, is there any table we have available just to show us what parameters did you use in these where, while you were varying the other ones? So for instance, in this case, you're measuring this, you're I'm changing very, the very sorry. Area. Philippe no. Mazzi, I'm very, very sorry, but the time okay. is over. I'm very sorry, sorry. to interrupt you. Yeah, thank you very much for the, for the physics fight. Um, I would like to ask you on slide 16, uh, sorry, the reporter, I would like to ask the reporter on slide 16, you mentioned that uh, we see a good agreement with the experimental data. Uh, I don't see the experimental data, so like, uh, how do you conclude that it's a good... Uh, so uh, here, here, we can, uh, here we can observe that uh, velocity saturates and uh, endpoint of uh, 3 and 3.3, uh, uh, 3. and here in experiment we uh, and here in experiment, we obtain a velocity which is uh, very similar uh, uh, for our theoretical prediction. Okay, uh, good. And like uh, a last question, just to stay on the slide you just show, 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 showed us. Um, you mentioned that uh, you measured the, the, the final velocity or like the limiting velocity 
but on the, the on all the videos you show us, uh, the the motion of your boat is not uh, linear. It's uh, like going in uh, one or the other direction. How did you control this parameter? And uh, yes, and did you take it so to account? Into account? Sorry, uh, here is just uh, this video, uh, just demonstration of uh, our uh, boats. Uh, we built uh, a longer uh, reservoir with water uh, to uh, measure our velocity. After, after some time, the velocity really saturates and we measure it. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you very much, Ivan. Uh, Federica? Uh, thank you guys for the solution and the explanation. I just have a, a technical question about the maximum distance uh, which you obtain uh, theoretically. Did you try to match that with an experiment? To see uh, so we investigate time of uh, canvas burn and uh, also we investigate uh, how long time our board uh, will, uh, will work. And uh, we can observe that uh, really uh, 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 this oscillation supporter uh, continues uh, during uh, four hours, so uh, we can estimate that uh, distance which our board can, uh, can travel uh, during this time uh, is uh, nearly uh, 900 meters. Okay, and uh, about the efficiency, uh, which you obtain a very long uh, Sorry. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, so we calculate our efficiency by uh, multiplying uh, velocity of uh, boat uh, on uh, on uh, uh, drag force acting on uh, our boat, and uh, and we obtain really this uh, really low uh, efficiency. Okay, and one last question about the uh, measures key equation, which you mentioned at the beginning, I believe. Uh, do you have any reference of that of that model? Uh, sorry, uh, you talk uh, about uh, what equation? So, uh, uh, yes. Uh, yes, this? Yes, it, it is a reference number because I, I didn't know that, uh, that that equation. So, I don't know if you have like the literature. My answer, uh, my answer uh, it is uh, mainly the, 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 the second Newton's law for the uh, motion of the objects which lose mass. It is uh, some kind of uh, rocket equation which we were investigated nearly 100 years ago. Okay, so, thank you. <laughs> that, that was it. Okay, thank you. Uh, Ukraine team, you have one reporter or is just team members answer the question? Uh, we are answering uh, at the only, only in the, we are answering only on uh, the answers of the jury and the okay. team so the reporter, the reporter is only one person. Yes, right. Yes. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Is it any more questions? Uh, 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 please yes, let... yes uh, I okay. also have uh, one short Nicolai, question. Nikolai, please. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> uh, to, to the reporter, do you have some kind of uh, a list of all uh, the parameters you have uh, investigated? And uh, these parameters we have, yes, investigated this, uh, this and this, uh, but this is irrelevant parameters we abstain from them. Do you have some kind of list? Mm, so uh, here we can, here, here we have uh, the list of parameters which uh, can uh, fully describe uh, for a full description of our uh, our board. Uh, so and we change some of them, uh, however uh, some of this parameter uh, stay, uh, stay constant in our uh, investigation. Mm -hmm. What is C zero point uh, eighty six? Uh, sorry, C. Uh, that's what's uh, the coefficient which we uh, find experimentally uh, for uh, for each uh, for each type of board use. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Nikolai. Stanislav, do you have any questions? A short question. Uh, you used a metal boiler. Uh, why didn't you try heat isolate uh, heat isolation to diminish uh, losses in the atmosphere? Uh, so we not 
make uh, some uh, protection to to avoid losses. However, we take it to account uh, using uh, Newton's Rickman uh, law of uh, cooling. So uh, parameters uh, n that's uh, that's uh, and that's power which we uh, calculate uh, um, by our uh, for our uh, for our boiler uh, minus uh, power which we lose uh, by uh, contact with uh, atmosphere. Uh, 